Okay, hello and uh, welcome to this um, PHP tutorial series, or sort of tutorial series. Um, the reason I say sort of is because this series of videos is going to be about using PHP from the command line, or sort of the shell terminal. Um, so this is why you can see the terminal window open here. Uh, well, I hope you can, anyway. Um, so yeah, um, the reason I'm going to be going through this is because if um, you want to uh, sort of improve your, you know, skill a little bit. Um, this is quite a nice way to do it because um, usually when you're developing like a website or something, or you sort of play around with website stuff, like sort of with the aim of improving a little bit, generally what you end up doing is just sort of messing about with HTML and trying to get everything to look right. So by doing it, by sort of playing basically with the terminal and a few little shell scripts, um, you can sort of improve your skill without getting distracted by all the sort of display type stuff. So we won't be using any web browsers, we're going to be running a few PHP scripts directly from um, this terminal window. So all I've done is literally opened up the terminal. Um, I'm going to make, um, okay, so I should probably explain first. Um, this video is going to be a very basic introduction um, and I'm also going to make a Windows version of this video. Um, so if you look in the video title this will say Linux in brackets and there'll be a Windows one that says Windows in brackets. Um, so if you're using Windows, uh, you're watching the wrong video. Um, I had to buy Windows 7 to be able to do this, so you should be fairly grateful. <laughs> um, it's not cheap, I want it anyway, I need to play games. Um, anyway, sidetracked. Uh, so yeah, basically what we've got here is a terminal window um, and uh, this folder. This folder contains a single test.php script and it's currently completely empty. So what we're going to do is just add echo, spelt right, uh, there we go, echo testing. And what we're going to do is run this from our terminal window. So if you were to, for example, open this with a web browser, you would just see testing output to the browser window. Uh, but to run a script from the terminal window, you type, um, well, first thing we need to do is chain, uh, move into the folder that we want to work in because currently we're just in my home folder indicated by this little squiggle uh, and we want to be in this uh, command line scripts folder so we need to change into this full path here uh, for me this is done well for you it's done using the same command so we just type cd for change directory and it's the path to the folder we want to change into for me this is media shares web um, tutorials think should be shares um, web tutorials yep there you go um, sort of pro tip well not pro tip a tip um, if you press tab it will auto complete so if you notice there I had tut press tab Orioles appears um, also if you double tab with no um, nothing selected nothing entered you get a list of things that sort of are in that folder or match the pattern so for example if I do PHP double tab uh, you see we get this appearing so this is all the things to start with PHP so that's quite a nice little tip um, I'm not sure if a Windows equivalent exists of that but we'll find out when the, when I work out how to do the Windows version of this anyway so to finish change it finish this directory path we want PHP tutorials uh, and then it's the name of the folder which was command line scripts so now we're in that folder we can um, sort of list the contents of it to test this uh, and we do that using the ls command short for list so ls uh, enter and this just lists all the files in the current folder so it's similar to just doing double tab oh no similar to just doing double tab although obviously there's only one file so it just completes it um, yeah so um, another thing you can do which is a little bit helpful here is you can do ls uh, dash L enter and that prints every, prints all the files in a list which makes things a little bit easier to see if you have a lot of files uh, so yeah that's basically that anyway so now we can see that we have this uh, file available to us and we want to execute this file so the way we do that is using the PHP command uh, obviously you need to have PHP installed on your computer for this to work um, I, have a, I do have a video on configuring PHP I'm not sure about installing it but it's fairly self-explanatory um, there are plenty of guides around the web for that uh, it's not something that I will really be covering 
Uh, so anyway, now we have our PHP command. Uh, just to test this, by the way, if you want to make sure that the command is available, you can do PHP dash V, enter, and that will um, sort of print the current version. So you can see I'm using 5.3.6, which hopefully is the latest version. 5.4 will be out soon, by the looks of it. Uh, so look forward to that coming out, because I have to update about eight servers. Anyway, so back onto what I was getting on about. Um, should be talking about even. To run the contents of that script, you just do PHP space the name of the script, which was test.php, and then just hit enter. And you can see that the script has executed because we get this testing output here. Uh, obviously, you'll notice that the sort of this bit, the whatever this is called, command thingy, uh, is on the same line. And the, the fix for that is just to add an another echo for a new line at the end, like so. And then you can run the script again. Uh, another tip: just pressing up will scroll through your command history up and down. So if you want to just do the same command again, it's just up, enter. And now you can see that we have testing on a new line. So that is the absolute basics of how to run a PHP script from the command line. Um, so yeah, that's basically that. Um, and I will do a Windows version of this because there's a little bit more to it with Windows. The default Linux install of PHP adds this PHP command for you, but um, on Windows systems, you don't have this command. Um, well, you do have the command, uh, but you have to be able, you have to make it available. You have to tell Windows where to look for the PHP executable thing. And other than that, it works in almost the exact same way. So yeah, that's basically that. So thanks for watching. And as I said, this isn't. There are uses for this. Um, for example, I have a system on my server somewhere where I can upload files and they expire so they're like automatically deleted if they get past a certain age um, I use that just to send files to people instead of trying to use like file host or something um, it's just nice to be able to have them delete after without me having to go and manually do it um, and that is done by a, via a um, shell script that checks for old files and just removes them so there are potential uses for this but it's not the most common uh, the reason I'm doing this uh, series on it is just like I said originally, um, it's quite a nice way to sort of build your skills in the in PHP without having to worry about sort of other stuff getting in the way. Like generally, when you practice PHP stuff, you do it via a website, so you'll make like a blog. Um, but if you wanted to just practice queries or something like that, uh, you could just sort of quickly do a PHP uh, script like this. Uh, that just does some queries and like prints out the results and stuff like that. Um, so other than that, it uh, wait, works in the exact same way. So you have all of the functions available. You can see that I just did echo test, but I could use like any function, anything that I have. I can include files. Uh, so you can see sort of the power that is available here. Anyway, that's enough of me rambling. Um, so. Like I said, if you're using a Windows system, you have now watched the completely wrong tutorial. Uh, I'm going to say the exact same things for the Windows version, except I'm also going to show you how to set up... Um, well, I'm going to be using the um, command prompts and not this terminal window. Um, all the sort of subsequent videos will be in Linux, but basically uh, the only difference between the two systems is that uh, the, um, the way you execute the script. Um, yeah, so that's basically that. So thanks for watching, and hopefully this will be useful and a little bit fun.